Trimble Business Center Heavy Civil Edition provides powerful tools to help you create accurate 3D models for sites and highways. In its latest release, it's come out with some very sought after intersection functionality. We can use two or more alignments, select those alignments, and simply use the Create Intersection tool to create either a roundabout or in this case a four-way intersection. As soon as I give it a name and hit apply, you can see I now have a four-way intersection. I could have chosen to use and create a roundabout or if I decided I want to go back and create a roundabout after the fact, I simply just have to come in and change one of the properties. Now I have a roundabout. Each leg and connection also has properties that can be adjusted manually or loaded from a template. In this case, I can simply come in here, change the lane widths as well as the lane slopes and even the shoulder widths and shoulder slopes. Once you set one leg, it makes it very simple to select and copy the properties and paste them into each other leg. Once I'm done with that, I can move into the connections and same thing with the connections, I can choose a different type of connection and with that different type of connection, I can change the incoming radius as well as the outgoing radius. Just like the road leg, I can copy and paste the properties from one connection to the other. Then by going back to the roundabout itself, I can adjust the inner radius. I can adjust the lane width. I can adjust the lane slope. I can adjust the inner shoulder as well as an outer shoulder. I can even adjust the curb height. So if I wanted to add a half a foot curb in here, you can see I'm getting a true 3D model. I can add in islands, such as a roundabout island, or a roundabout contra island. And just like the rest of the intersection, I can adjust its properties, such as adding in a walking path and adjusting the curb height for the island itself. I can copy and paste those properties to the rest of the model as well. You're not limited to just the alignments. You can also choose two existing corridors that intersect. Right click and select create intersection from the shortcut menu. I can come in here and we'll call this a T. I could load it from a property or just simply click apply. The properties for this one actually come from the corridor instructions themselves. So it's getting the lane information and the shoulder information such as width and slope from the existing corridors that were already predefined. Once I have that, I can come in and choose the connections and change the connection type that I want, adjust the radius, or I can choose this other side and I can add in a turn lane. Once I add in that turn lane, I can come in and adjust the properties for that as well. And then lastly, I have a cul-de-sac. Simply select the corridor, create cul-de-sac, grab the end. I can choose a turning hammer or a circular cul-de-sac. And I can load it from an existing template or a predefined template that I made beforehand. And now you can see I've got a true cul-de-sac that can be modified and manipulated and changed as needed. So to find out more about Trimble Business Center Heavy Civil Edition and the intersection functionality, contact your local SciTech dealer.